Hiya folks, it's Kikoskia here, just letting you know that this video contains scenes that may not be suitable for people who suffer from epilepsy. Keep this in mind as you watch this video. And now, on with the conspiracies! Welcome back folks to Let's Replay Deus Ex! And when last we left off, we've tended our resignation, so now Ooh. it's time for JC, Miguel, and Ben to make their getaway. You may think it's an easy thing to get past this door. It seems to be made of wood and glass, so one get rocket or a business. few lockpicks will get you past, right? No. This door has infinite lock and door strength, and the only key that unlocks it is the one that Alex gives you for killing Anna Let's Navarra. Go. You could hurt Anna Navarra enough that she'll try and run away from you, and then possibly go through this door, but that is more luck than anything when it happens, and besides, not there we yet. have the key, so we can just open this up and move on. Come along, Ben. There are only a few more people to deal with, and Scott here is one of them. Let's distract him Stay by alert. throwing Ben here, and then he'll open this door like a fool! You really shouldn't have done that, Scott, because you really were unreachable in this room. The only You're way to open yet. this door is by pressing this switch. The door itself has infinite lock and door strength, and there are no keys to open it. Let's it go. makes me wonder what happens if, when he's going off duty, he accidentally presses the button as he leaves, shutting everyone out of the room. Imagine the cost of getting this door open. Stay alert. We could stay in here and endure Yunako soldiers forever. Unfortunately, there's the minor problem of the kill switch to deal with, so it's best that we don't stay in here. Scott has nothing that we really want. And speaking of Scott, didn't we kill someone in the medical area with the same name? Is he a clone of Scott? Or are there just two people in Yunako you called lead. Scott? I don't know, and the game's not going to tell us. So it's time to press this button and leave. This is a point of no return, so I hope you grabbed Let's everything go. and spoke to everyone that you wanted to before this door shut, because this retinal scanner isn't working anymore. Retinal pattern malfunction, general protection fault. We cannot go back, so it is time to move forward and get out of here and deal with the final soldier. Private Lloyd. Also, 165 skill points. Very nice. Got you covered. Let's go up the stairs carefully. Oh, I cannot forgive. No. Not the killing of Agent Navarre. I will follow you. Denton, I will get you. Gunther has found out about our Me. escape, and he is rather angry. Oh, is he going to make good on that threat? Now, we could sneak past Private Lloyd, we could also knock Private Lloyd unconscious. Ready for business. But what we're going to do is we're going to have Ben provide a distraction so that Private Lloyd walks over to investigate and leaves himself vulnerable. Go, Ben! Let's go! And there he goes! Ah. You fool! You fell for the oldest trick in the book! Good job, Ben. You tried, Private Lloyd, but you simply were no we're match there for JC. There is an email here that we can read. Let's do that. It's one that we haven't read before. It's not very long. Full alert. We have an unspecified incident originating in the Yonako detention areas. All personnel are ordered to full alert status. Any and all suspicious activity is to be treated with utmost caution, while armed response is sanctioned for unauthorized activity. Personnel without specific responsibility should consider themselves locked down until further notice. Stay alert. Now you may think that with Private Lloyd being so friendly to us all the way through the game, that he wouldn't try to kill us when he sees us. But no, he certainly tries to kill us. But with him gone, covered. there are no more threats that we have to worry about in this area, so we can safely explore that little location over there before we go and talk to Jock. This place has the only camera that is actually hostile to us. This camera right here. Stay alert. It will notice us and it will sound the alarm. And if you've managed to avoid getting Private Lloyd angry at you, he would come to investigate. But since he's dead, it doesn't Stay really alert. matter. 
there are some goodies over here, though when I say goodies, it's just 10mm ammo, and we don't need that. In here is a multi-tool, should we want it. And in here is the reason why I was worried about taking on Scott. This repair bot is still here, and if we had to use any bioenergy to uh, heal ourselves, we could get it all replenished there. Now we have a scramble grenade for free, which is nice, that's the second free scramble grenade that we've got in the game, and down here I believe is an EMP grenade, which may actually be useful at some point, so let's go get it. There may be situations where we don't want to blow up robots, and instead just want to disable them. That's everything that we can do here, and so it is time to speak to Jock and leave. I'm sure Miguel can get out of here. Actually, I'm not so sure you can. This gate, I can't find a way to open it, and even if you could open it, good luck getting to the mainland from here. Then, yet. you've risked a lot getting here. It's only fair that you continue to help me in dealing with all of this. We've got to get to Hong Kong, and we've got to find Tracer Tong. Let's, Let's go. go. Indeed, Miguel. Let's go. How do you know to meet me? Daedalus. He called himself Daedalus. A friend of yours? Nope. I came because I owe your brother Paul a few favors. I wish he was coming with us. Me too, JC. Me too. Get in. I'm gonna take you to Hong Kong. Can you put me in contact with Tracer Tong? I know a place where we can touch down in the city, but Tong is very suspicious of foreigners. You'll have to earn the trust of your brother's allies. They'll know how to find Tong. Great. Let's go. Time to see if this stealth copter is worth all the fuss. MJ-12 is a facility in Hong Kong, and they'll be watching for us. Good luck, JC. I can make it on my own from here. Good luck, Miguel. We are making a run for it, don't worry. Did you notice that I levitated for a moment before getting into the helicopter? Did you also notice that some of the angles that were in the cutscene were a bit weird? That's probably because we were holding on to Ben. Well, that description's unfortunate. I think we may have been rumbled. I blew it, JC. I'm sorry. MJ-12 must want you bad. Locked on the chopper and had the nav computer fly straight in. My stores are shut. My weapons are locked. Weapon lock switches on flight control deck one. Get me back online or we're dead meat. I'll certainly try, Jock. We are currently in an MJ-12 helibase. High atop the Versalife building. We definitely need to get out of here, and the best way to do that is to use this underground area. We can get to a lot of places from here. There is a repair bot in this main area, just in case you get badly hurt and you picked the regeneration augmentation. Here is a sneaky way in to the shower area of the barracks. We do not want to go there, because when we inevitably get discovered, we'll be trapped if we're in there. Here is somewhere far more interesting. The munitions area. We have some rockets. We have a weapon mod recoil. We have a key for the room that we're in, and a data cube. Maintenance note. Got a shipment of that experimental fuel, but this is scary stuff. Toxic six ways to Sunday, and while the emergency purge is designed to shunt it into the basement tanks in case of a problem, the fumes alone could creep back up the ventilation system and put most of the facility out of business. Definitely lowest bid contractor work. Until I can get a hold of someone to fix this mess, I've slapped a temporary lockout on the purge valve. 99871. Give me a ring at 443-2337-2388-123 if there's a problem. So we know of a way to get a lot of harmful gas into the barracks if we want to. But I might not want to. This door leads us back to the main area that we started in. And there is that repair bot. There's also a ladder there if you want to go up to the uh, top area and face a lot of soldiers. We really don't want to do that. Instead, we're going to go this way some more and see what's down here. This looks kind of important. Careful down there. That fueling equipment was installed by the lowest bidder. 
One time I had to fly a couple of gas technicians to the emergency room. That's Jock giving you a uh, hint that you may want to use this. You only need to use one multi-tool to bypass that. Now, we could go this way, but you know what? We're not going to. Instead, we're just going to uh, quickly activate this. I didn't think I wanted to do this, but you know what? Let's actually give this a go. 99871. 99871. Let's get out of here. You just released poison gas into the lower levels. Find a hazmat suit or get out of there. <laughs> oh, I'm trying. There we go. We are pretty safe now. Now we can use the uh, way this way to get to the uh, main area. And then we'll see what effect that gas is having. We will find the conventional way to the barracks, which I believe is this way. Yep, barracks downstairs. Well, that seems like it was pretty effective. They are dead? Yep, they're all pretty dead. I think that's a job well done. Except you! You're not dead! You really didn't care that everyone else has perished. Well, looks like poisonous gas has leaked out and is killing everyone, but I've got this report to file. Better get on that. I would leave you be, but you will notice that we're here, so I'm sorry. I'm about to ruin all of your work. You'll never get that report finished now. Alas. Now here is the shower area that I didn't drop into before. As you can see, it's an area that there is some room to navigate in, but ultimately if you're discovered, there are five MJ-12 troopers there that will attack you. And they're armed with some pretty nasty stuff. There's a camera up there. Do I want to bypass that? You know what? I actually can because we have those multi-tools in the munitions room. We'll just turn this off. Marvelous. And then we can explore... Oh, did I... Uh... Oh, I can just turn it on or off by clicking it once it's bypassed. I did not know that you could actually turn them back on. I wonder why you'd want to do that. By the way, let's have a look at all the stuff that these people have. You have some shotgun shells. You have some uh, stuff there I can't pick up. You have a mini crossbow, but I can't pick it up. You have an assault rifle, and you have an assault rifle. We want to put this on the sniper rifle. We want our accuracy to be that much better. There's a pinball machine. I'm still dreadful at these. I think it's time to see just what's on this computer. Is there anything of interest here? The answer is no. There's nothing. And there is this book. Project Divok. I think we've already seen that, but we haven't seen this before. All Hong Kong MJ-12 personnel. Hong Kong is a unique environment for MJ-12 personnel and provides a number of challenges that all members should be aware of on a daily basis. Currently, only tenuous ties exist between MJ-12 and local authorities, though MJ-12 is working to resolve that issue, and consequently police and security cannot be expected to understand the special nature of MJ-12's charter. That's some ominous wording if ever I've seen any. Agents, operatives, security, and other personnel should adhere closely to the confidentiality guidelines outlined in your handbook. One key factor in police response is the use of acoustic gunfire sensors. Scattered throughout much of Hong Kong, cheap and effective, these sensors use DSP circuitry to alert authorities to non-suppressed, i.e. not silenced, gunfire. This enables police to quickly minimize threat situations in an efficient manner. While these sensors can be disabled, Central Operations does not recommend this course of action, but rather a considered evaluation of any tactical situation to avoid local intervention. Basically, don't go firing non-suppressed firearms. It'll end poorly for you. And look what's up there. There is a sword. Now, a sword is something that you can actually use as a weapon. It does take up quite a lot of space, but it is more powerful than the knife. There's some sniper rifle ammo. We want that. This one, I believe, yep, this one is unlocked. And in here is another copy of the munitions bay door key. And 100 credits. And some much-wanted pepper cartridges. I don't really want them. You 
can see that you could use the ventilation system to get up to here and bypass those soldiers completely, the game giving you lots of options even when it seems like there aren't any. And there are posters on the walls, but what we want is in these here. And while I could use lots of lockpicks, I think I'll use my other lockpick, this here. Marvelous. Good thing we didn't destroy that trophy! I'm sure the person that once was alive to cherish that loved that thing. Let's see what's in here. Ammunition, this flight control deck code, and a data cube. Let's uh, have a look at this. We had another one of the locals attempt to hack the security keypad on the elevator. Looked like a kid this time, but he did a pretty good job of staying out of the surveillance field. Anyway, Nicole managed an override before he got in and she reset the code to 989. Hopefully that'll keep them out until we can get more security on the entrance. We have another code! Pretty neat. Now we can open some of these here. Nothing really good in here. That needs some uh, lockpicks. There is a fire extinguisher, which is more useful than you'd think it would be. And there's a med kit that we don't actually need. Do I want to... Actually, I really don't want to open that. I don't want to spend either a rocket or any lockpicks. So we've done that. And I think now it is time to, uh, before we go to the flight area, we want to go and get some more ammunition. And we can do that by going down to here. There we go. We want these for sure. And that, there, that's white phosphorus rockets, actually. Hmm. We could certainly use them at some point. Now, let's go to the flight control deck, because we have what we need to gain access here. Actually, I just, uh, locked that, didn't I? Silly me. To all flight controllers, after the recent theft of the SH-187, we are re-evaluating our security procedures. Until further notice, Deck 1 flight control has been sealed and troops ordered to barracks. If you need access to flight control, please see Tech Sergeant McKinney. Mackey. Now the munitions bay we can open there. Weapons lock we can't deal with here. But we can do something with the security console. Now, what do we have access to from here? Anything nice? Ah! We can uh, make these aggressive to the... Uh, Soldiers up there, that seems like a pretty good idea. They're not sure what they need to do. Well, I've got some bad news for you. You're not really going to be uh, surviving this because I don't think they're going to attack the uh, that turret, which means that we can go into there and see what goodies there are. And by into there, I mean up to there because we'll have to use that ladder to do so. Let's unlock this and do what we need to. 75 skill points. Let's deal with the weapons lock. Back in business. Come on down and stay clear of the blast doors to the south. I'm gonna launch a missile. Good plan! This surely can't go wrong. This might go wrong. You didn't warn me that there'd be a robot that would try and kill me, Jock, but then again, how would you have known? Sometimes the repair bot can be destroyed in the uh, missile fire that Jock unleashes, but fortunately, it wasn't. Now, there's a robot here, and the uh, turret up there is actually trying to help us out, but that help really wasn't. Oh, never mind, that help may have been needed. Did I accidentally? No, I didn't accidentally blow this up. Aha! There were two of those robots, and I didn't know that. Let's heal ourselves up. Fifteen, fifteen, fifteen. Slowly but surely, we will recoup all of our lost health, and then we'll regain all of that bioelectric energy. Nearly done? Are you busy at work trying to fix things? Well, allow me to interrupt to you and then head up here. I'm going to save before I go up here, because there's a good chance that 
at least one soldier may still be alive. Chances are that's not the case, though. Ah, it seems like they're all dead. Marvellous. That's not so marvellous, though. That's not so marvellous at all. Let's be very careful about going this way. You have some rockets. Now, that is definitely something that we want. And there's a huge pile of swords. We don't want a huge pile of swords. And I've no idea how you're managing to defy gravity. But you are. And you have nothing on you that I really want. Ooh. <laughs> that leads to somewhere. Leads to a dark, dark location that we're not going to go into. It looked like they were having fun up here before the turrets decided to kill them all. Ah, well. Let's leave them to it. And by to it, I mean uh, being dead. And make preparations to leave. And when we come back, folks, the lockdown is indeed initiated, but all we need to do to get past is either take a small amount of damage or bypass this with three multi-tools. Now, we can actually just die going through this because those beams can deal a lot of damage. Let's see if we can get through safely. Well, we can't get through safely doing that. And wow, did we manage to navigate through there without getting hurt at all. That's brilliant. And when we come back, folks, we're going to head up and away from the MJ-12 base. A rather down and away because we're so high up. And then we will be in Hong Kong proper. And my... Is that an interesting area, full of things to do and places to go? And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.